Hi, I'm Monique Desjardins. Um, I've been here on the West Coast for 16 years. I've been painting um, for two years uh, abstract, and I use uh, acrylic and uh, mixed media, such as uh, paper and fibers. And um, uh, this year, this summer, I participated for the first time at uh, the painting here uh, when the uh, the gallery closed down Moss Street, and uh, there's there was about 150 artists there and it was very exciting I really enjoyed my experience and uh, lately I had uh, one painting at the souk show and uh, sold my first big piece so again very exciting and uh, uh, today is the closing of the small work here at the at the gallery and uh, in September uh, beginning uh, on the around the 4th of se September there'll be a new exhibit here at, at the gallery and I'll have three paintings, um, one large and two medium ones, so I invite you to come and have a look. Thank you. Well, I haven't been working too hard because it is summer, but I really had a wonderful time down at Gonzales Beach. It was low tide, the kids were playing in the water, I ignored them, I painted that big white house on the edge of the beach, and it turned out quite well because it reflects in the, in the waves. So I was quite happy about that. It's not often happens that when you paint something, it turns out really well, but I was happy this time really happy. And now I've got the walking of the dog in the gallery, which is nice. Um, we all do that, and I like to do something that's natural and that people enjoy doing, and uh, that did it for me, walking the dog. It's been a really wonderful summer here in Victoria for me as an artist. I um, did a show, uh, um, two days of the painting in Centennial Square with the Art Gallery of Greater Victoria, and then I did the Moss Street TD painting as well just a couple of days later, and uh, I have a show opening at the Avenue Gallery on September the 15th called Pairings, and then again here at the AGGV with two other artists in November. So it's a busy time, a good time, crazy busy, good busy. <laughs> Thank you. 
and this summer has been uh, fairly busy for me. I had a studio tour in my studio. I live in Victoria, but my studio is in Cowichan, and uh, so I had a show there for four days. And then I do a lot of plein air painting in the summertime, so I've been out doing that. And then I I enjoy doing the competitive paint outs at Sydney and Qualicum on the island. So you don't know where you're going to paint, and you randomly select a site, and you paint for four hours and have a completed painting. And then I've been working on uh, two projects. One is I'm going to Taos, New Mexico to present to a group called the Society of Layers and Multimedia. And I've been working on a project called Birth and Creativity and Birthing Creativity. So um, I present that at the beginning of October. And I'm planning on going to the island of Iona in Scotland to work on a project uh, called um, Inner Art and Spirit Exploring Inner and Outer Sacred Space. So it has been a busy, t productive time for me and an explorative time. Mm -hmm. And the two pieces I have in the show, one is a watercolor, small watercolor that was done plain air on site on Quadra Island. And I love to capture the essence of experience in the watercolor. And the other piece is done on Cowichan Bay Farm. And it's an acrylic, small acrylic painting. So the other thing that I was involved in this summer, of course, was the Moss Street Paint-In, and it's my third time, and uh, there was an interesting synchronistic experience that there were, I don't know how many thousand, 30,000 people, they say, come to the Moss Street Paint-In, and towards the end of the day, there was a gentleman who came by and, and appreciated my work and asked questions about it, and then he wanted to know about a certain piece called the Blue Peace Portal, and I didn't have any art cards of it, so I sent it to him where he lives back east in the United States and he emailed me back and thanked me for the sending the piece and uh, in the conversation he said that he didn't realize that he already had an original of my painting um, that was done in 1985 and so that was really amazing that of all the people that were th walking up and down the Moss Street that uh, he already was a little bit familiar with my work.